hi guys welcome back to my channel if you are old here thanks if you are new here please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified when i upload a new video in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to design a church flyer like this using photoshop before any further ado let's get started here i'm going to use a4 paper size then i'm going to select landscape then inches and my resolution is going to be 300 then create then here are the tests i'm going to use and the fonts i'm going to leave it in the descriptions so that you can download and make use of it and these are the images i'm going to use in this tutorial all right now i'm going to drag this one into photoshop then scale it this way then apply blur gaussian blur then increase increase it this way it's okay all right then go back again to your images then you bring this one then scale it this way then go to blur gaussian blur i'm okay with this then here i'm going to apply layer mask then select my gradient tool and i'm going to blend it over here this way all right it's okay like this then i'm going to bring this one again i will scale this one over here like this This way is okay. Then I'm going to apply multiply. Then I will reduce the opacity to 63. Like this. Then I'm going to bring it down this way. Like this. Then apply layer mask. Then go back to your gradient tool. Then you blend over here so all right now this is what we have then i'm going to here again to select this level then I'm going to decrease this one over here like this it's okay then I'll go back again and I'll select this vibrance then increase this one this way It's okay then the saturation i'm going to also increase it let me use that is okay all right so you can see then i'm going back again to bring 
this other image then fill it this way then apply screen you see then I'm going to reduce the opacity to 6 and this is what I have okay I'm going to take this one up a bit this way it's okay then the other one again is this one I'm going to bring this one then I'm going to apply glow increase it to 47 okay now I'm going to blend it using screen and the opacity is going to be 100 so so this is what you have then I'm going to apply a layer mask again take it up all right apply a layer mask then so that you blend okay so after we have done this one then the next thing now is to copy our test then select your test tool then come over here then you paste ctrl v to paste i'll bring it over here then ctrl j to duplicate the test and then drag it down then copy your test again ctrl c to copy and ctrl v to paste then i'm going to change this font all right then i'm going back again to copy select your test tool and you paste then i'm going to use the font bebas regular then increase this one like this then i'm going to close the character spacing just a little bit like this then i'm going to change the font color here is the font color you copy come here then you paste all right then here i have a i'm going to apply a stroke i'm going to select the test then i'm going to a gradient overlay close this one sorry what i want to apply is stroke okay you can see it's already here so all right here are the codes for the stroke 
so this is what I have here okay I'm going to centralize it so that the work will be in order then after this one i'm going to sell copy this test again then i'm going to select an ellipse tool then draw a cycle here i'm going to use a gradient which is this then copy i mean paste your the test you copy i'm going to change the font to acrobat then i'll make it bold black change the color to white i'll drag it here right click then you now select this word then I'm going to turn it this way all right I will reduce this cycle select it to then apply horizontal and vertical alignment then I'm going to apply stroke select color then make it red ok so this is what I have I'm going to group this one as my background then copy this test over here select your test tool again then you paste then I'm going to use this font here butter quart sorry if i don't pronounce it very well then i'm going to increase it this way yeah i'm going to position it here and i'll move this one over here Then I'm going to select it now. Ctrl J to duplicate it, turn this one off, then convert this one to smart object. Then go to your gradient overlay. I'm going to use this color here then apply stroke i'm going to make the stroke white this way then apply shadow then my opacity is going to be 100 percent i'm going to change it All right. Uh, now what I did is my spread is twenty two and my the size is thirty three. This one is okay. 
then click ok so this is what i have here okay then go back again and copy your test select your test tool and control v to paste sorry i did not copy it well control c to copy control v to paste and i'm going to change the font to black jack yeah now i'm going to position it over here then go to your blending option apply shadow then make it the distance 5 then the spread should be 15 then and the size 9 so then ok I'm going to copy this layer style or hold your alt key then you drag it over here then you drag it again over here you can see the presence and the name of the church is now bold all right so the next thing again go back then you copy Ctrl C to copy, then I'm going to apply this round rent angle. I'll draw it over here. I'm going to change to this one. Alright, then select your test tool and paste. And I'm going to change the font to Acrobat, then make it bold, then drag it over here, then open the character space. Alright, then select the right angle and apply vertical and horizontal alignment. Then use your arrow key to bring it down like this. Alright. Okay. Reduce the size. Ctrl A to apply vertical alignment. Ctrl D to deselect. Now I'm going to select this one. Hold your shift key, then you click here. Ctrl G to group. I'm going to reduce this one a bit. And I'll use my arrow key to move it up.
Ctrl G again. Then I'm going to use the arrow key to move it up. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do again is to copy this test. Ctrl C. Then select your test tool, you come over here, then you control V to paste. Then I'm going to change the color to this one here. Then I'm going to change the font with black jack. Then drag it over here. Yeah, it's okay. Okay. Then this is the color code. It is 17 with the power from on high. So again, I'm going to copy this one. Select your test tool again, then Ctrl V to paste, then change the color to white. And I'm going to change the font to Acrobat Bold Semi Bold. Then make it left alignment. Now reduce the size. Take it over here. Then I'm going to close it. Okay, the space is closed. I23. Alright. Then I'm going to select the two and reduce it this way. Then use my arrow key to bring it forward. Then I'm going here to select this triangle. And I'm going to drag it this way it's okay and i'm going to change the color to this yellow then rotate it this way now i will drag it over here Then duplicate it, duplicate it over here, then I'm going to select the tree and apply center, okay, then I'll use my arrow key then to bring it forward. Then I'm going to copy the location. Ctrl V. Then I'm going to change the color to white. Then drag it over here. Then I'm going to select this one and change the color to yellow here.
All right. Then now I'm going to group these ones. Control G. Then Control G. So this is my test. All right. Now I'm going to select the date, the test, present, and the church name. Then I'm going to move it this way. I'm going to move it this way. Now, then what I'm going to do here. I'm going to bring this image all right then before then I'm going to bring this light I will position it over here Then I'm going to change it to screen. Apply a layer mask. Select a gradient tool. Then go to this place. Make sure it's black and white like this. Then you now blend over here. Alright, then I'm going to bring this one then reduce the size I'll take it over here then I'll change it to screen Okay, then select this image, apply a layer mask, then we blend it, blend it like this. Now come to copy your test. Then I'm going to select this red angle. And I'm going to drag over here like this. I will select this color. Select your test tool. Then you paste. Then change the color to this. All right. I'm going back again to copy the name. Select your test tool, then Control V to paste, then change it to white.
then reduce it this way then I'm going to reduce this one as well Now on this image, I'm going to, to select a solid color, then pick a color from here, okay, then change it to overlay, then reduce the opacity, then right click on the layer and create a clipping mask, you can see. Now the color has blend with the image. So that is it. Thank you very much for watching. If you are old here, thanks, I really appreciate. And if you are new here, please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell.